Hello all, in this video we will explore ESP8266 D1 IoT board which is an alternative to Node MCU. This is built on ESP12 IC. It has got USB socket for power as well as serial communication. A separate power adapter is also there. On board 3.3 volt regulator is there. So you can use an external adapter up to 12 volt. All pins are extended. You have a reset 3.3 volt, 5 volt, ground, V in, and the one and only A0 analog input pin of ESP. The board build is uh, just like Arduino, you know, and as such, you do not need an Arduino, you know, uh, to work with this board. Using Boards Manager, you can convert this board to Arduino and then use the Arduino IDE for programming. There are two versions of this board R1 and R2. Only the pin, pin mapping is slightly different, but for that uh, both the boards are same. Plug in the USB socket to PC and then open the device manager to get the COM port allotted. For this you have to install the driver, CS340 driver for PC to recognize this board. Once the board is recognized, a COM port is allotted. Note down this COM port number and open the Arduino IDE. Select the port uh, allotted and then uh, uh, upload speed is uh, 11 200 and uh, board is uh, you select the board, uh, board boards manager and search for ESP8266. Now you will not get anything. Uh, you go to file preferences and then paste this link uh, under URL. The link is given in the description. You can copy it and paste it here. The link directs to the location where uh, Arduino core for ESP8266 uh, exists. Once the link is uh, the JSON link is copied and uh, uh, pasted to the uh, file preferences, you can open the uh, Tools Boards Boards Manager and search for ESP8266 now. You will find ESP8266 by ESP community. You select that and then uh, select the latest version and click install. Internet connection is required for uh, installing this tool chain. Once the Arduino core for ESP8266 is uh, installed, uh, under uh, uh, tools boards you can see the uh, name vmos d1 you can select the board as uh, vmos d1 r1 and then select the uh, uh, upload speed as 11 5 200 now open file examples and then select the blink sketch you need not change uh, uh, anything in this blink sketch as we are going to blink the uh, built-in LED. Just click on upload. On some pieces you will get this uh, busy error. Uh, this error is because of uh, antivirus software like uh, McAfee. Not all antivirus software uh, will raise this flag. Uh, only antivirus softwares like uh, McAfee will raise this error. Now open the dashboard of uh, McAfee uh, antivirus software and then switch off the uh, real-time scanning for some time or you can create an exception uh, for Arduino uh, process. Now turn off the real-time scanning. And then click upload. Now the sketch will be uploaded without any error. The sketch is being uploaded. And on board you can see the uh, built-in LED blinking according to the upload speed. Finally the built-in LED will uh, blink according to the sketch uh, delay. There is also another LED uh, on PCB that, uh, that is SCK. This is onboard LED that is mapped to pin 14. 
the this is built in led and this is onboard led there are two leds uh, which you can uh, configure for blinking now let us see another example of uh, wi-fi scanning in which uh, uh, the D1 board scans for the surrounding networks and prints the SSIDs. Here we use the ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h header file which is uh, uh, installed along with the board's manager. Uh, the ESP board is set to station mode using Wi-Fi dot mode uh, function. Inside the loop we use the Wi-Fi dot scan networks function. This scan networks function returns uh, an integer value according to the number of uh, SSIDs found sur surrounding. This we assign it to an integer n. And then we use the for loop uh, to print the SSID and uh, RSSI value using the functions uh, Wi-Fi dot uh, SSID and Wi-Fi dot RSSI. So it will scan for the number of uh, networks surrounding and then uh, prints the SSID network name along with the uh, signal strength of the SSID. Now click on upload and then open the serial monitor. Now the sketch is uploaded and the scan starts. The D1 board will find all the surrounding uh, Wi-Fi networks, that is the SSIDs, and then prints the name along with the signal strength. It'll, uh, signal strength is printed in negative value. Uh, for example, minus 50 is stronger than minus 70. Thank you for watching.